boys, today I'm in a very, very different place. You see that? Yeah. I'm in Key West somehow. Uh, uh, these Gale Force Twin Girls, my two favorite YouTubers, said on Facebook, yeah, or said on Instagram, yesterday they had an opening on their charter. So guess who has the day off for the next three days because of weather? This guy right here. So I somehow grabbed together enough stuff to come down to Key West. So we're gonna go catch muttons, I guess. I'm tired. I woke up at three o'clock. Had a nice little journey down here. Well, we're about to leave. I'm ready to go sleep. Very, very famous boat. I've been wanting to fish this boat for a long time. So it'll be interesting to see how long range boats work here on the East Coast compared to what I'm used to. So, uh, yeah, here's my journey down here. Okay, so it's about eight o'clock now. I left Jacksonville at 3.30. I'm in Pompano Beach, Florida right now to uh, make my first of two stops. I'm stopping at Big Dog Tackle here for some slow pitch jigs, and then I'm gonna stop at another place to get some fresh bait. Look at the size of this thing. Eleven hundred grams? Dear God, this thing's fifteen inches long. How much does it cost? Fifty-five bucks. Good God. Oh my God. Three hundred fifty bucks later. I got like six jigs, a bunch of assist hooks, some hooks. Holy crap! That stuff is so expensive. Granted, I didn't all get it for myself. There's some people in Jacksonville that uh, wanted some slow pitch stuff, so um, we don't really have that much in Jacksonville, so I picked up some jigs for some buddies, but good God, what an expensive sport. Holy moly. Uh, I'm about ready to go to my second stop. Get Google eyes. Okay, so my next stop is uh, Angler's Bait and Tackle, which is actually a tackle store I've been to before. I came down here at the beginning of 2019 to get what's called an STCW. Um, addition to my license before I went to California. Essentially, it let me be a captain in the international water. So uh, we got off class early one day and I came down and shot the bowl with these guys in here, Big, try to figure out what was biting. I ended up fishing the pier, not catching anything, just looking at a bunch of stuff. But um, admittedly, I went back into that tackle shop right there after looking at the price of the jigs and I accidentally picked up um, a 65 and a $55 jig because I just didn't check the prices because I'm in a rush right now because I want to get down there as soon as possible. Went back in and tried to play it like, oh, I got the uh, I got the wrong weight, uh, my bad. Uh, and I grabbed two jigs that were the exact same weight <laughs> or three jigs rather. So I got three jigs. Um, I returned two jigs and got three jigs and I got $55 back. So there you go, that's good. It's ridiculous how expensive this shit is. Right, I'll have to get some goggle eyes. you might be wondering why why in god's green earth am i on the side of a road in south florida without a fishing rod trying to catch a peacock because if you are a watcher of blue gabe's channel which about 90 percent of my viewership comes from him so this is this place where i found that turtle trap uh, i'm trying to see if they brought it back or if they if they didn't let's see this is where it was water's way clearer than it was before that's gone Oh no. Oh, look at that carp. Oh boy. You guys see him? That's a beaver. That's good. Trap's gone, I think. Unless it's covered up again somewhere. I bet they just relocated it. I want to get down there. So I'm not going to spend too much time fiddle farting around, but good for not killing turtles, I guess. that is keeping me entertained while I'm driving through the Keys is uh, seeing what kind of boats are coming by. There's a ton of boats on trailers going back up north because it's Sunday and I guess people are going home after a weekend in the Keys. So I've been like for the past 20 miles playing the boat guessing game. Well, that was super short lived. Apparently the speed limit dropped to 35. And I was going 10 over, in which I thought was a 45. So I was going 20 over. <laughs> Way to make an expensive trip more expensive. Good for you, Joe. Well, I made it. Only managed one ticket. Not in prison, not in a wreck, not in a hospital. So 
I got that going for me, I guess. I'm going to swing it back to future me on the top deck. All right, we're about to push off here. And uh, hopefully it's a good trip. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. All right. I don't know if you guys heard that, but we just got stuff. It's like four something ish. And uh, 240, 250-ish. We start off with like a 12 to 15 foot section of 50 pound fluoro. Like a five ox, six ox circle hook. Something like that. See how it goes. I don't know what kind of light you use, Jeff. I've never been doing this with drift bags and whatnot. Start with like a 12. And I guess we'll find out. Got a groper. Oh, mutton. Starting to dart at me. Darting, darting, darting, darting, darting. It's a mutton. I guess I gotta get my tags. Thanks, sir. Cool. I'll be right back. Martin. Oh, really? Yeah, I fished with salt eagles and shit like that, but mine are all service. It was a last minute trip for me. Damn. Did I lose another fish? All right, I'll turn the camera back on in 10 minutes when he's here. Yeah, yeah. come on. You all right? You all right? Gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. That's right, cuz. Uh oh, what's that? Something's looking at it. <laughs> But that is that flipper. What is that? Oh, he's on it. Better reel, better reel, better reel, better reel, better reel. Oh, he got it. He got it. Oh, look at that. Wow. Unscathed. That's pretty good there, cuz. Let's go. Margate? Is that a Margate or a white grunt? Woo! Big grunt! Margate? Yeah. yeah. Tom Tate. <laughs> that one, I've never seen. Uh, do they all look like that over here? Yeah. Ours get like a lot more blue. That looks like a, just a gigantic Tom Tate. <laughs> Do, do, do, do, do. Oh, spinner. Spinner. My town. Muffin. You got your head back. All right, well, got the head back. We're just gonna Let's see what it was. We're just gonna see what happened. Oh god, he clobbered it. And fish on over here. Fish on over here. Don't get hurt. Don't say that. Sorry. Come on, don't waste that evil on me, girl. <laughs> I'm working hard. I'm a hard working man. I'm just trying to make it out here. Oh god, he already got it. <laughs> oh, he got my ass. Over here. Oh, I got Bruce. Oh, no. Oh, I got my fish back. <laughs> I got a head, too. Whoever gets their head in first wins. Ah, oh, he got me again. Dang it. Get him, Cuzzy. 
Things are chilling, cuz they're chilling. They're biting. Hey, we got you over here. Here. Hold on. Here. Uh. Here you go. Pass through. Yep. My tongue. Yeah? My fan. He's cute. Oh, Coot almost got his head. My fan. Hey, you got a whole fish. That's pretty damn good for it right now. Oh, God. I'm going to be here for a while. I got him. My fan. Come here, fish. Whole mutton. Imagine that. They exist. Eh. You get to the bottom? Yeah, he did. Freaking got you. The rock? Oh, yeah. Dwayne the Rock. Come on. Slip him, cuz. Slip him with that 50. You're actually getting in line? Freaking carbo, son. 90 pounder. Hand bone? Yeah. Hell yeah. Miha, miha. You're over, over, over. Over. Keep on over. I knew someone had him hooked. Miha. I'm on food bar. What him is. Let the old red grouper. Eyes blown out. The red? Red boy. Little guy. Cutie. Freaking all kinds of googly eyed. To it? A little bit. Slightly dense, huh? Cold, I don't know. We've been catching some tasty critters on this spot. Got him, Jones? Things are biting, cause. Got to get the fish in first. It's all sherry. <laughs> Color. Color. Yeah. Red groper. Oh, it's a snapper. Ammo. Nice. A whack fin. Let's go. <sighs> Scam. A scamper or a yellow mouth? Can we see it? I want to catch a yellow mouth. Another hand bone. Nice. Yeah, hung him that time. He's hung. <sighs> hey, it's a mutton? Hand bone. Oh, he's barely hooked. Ooh. Should be all right. Oh, God. <laughs> nice. Nice. Cool. Biggest black one I ever caught by far. Oh, scamp goes flying. A little scamp slap there for you. Scamps like don't like to be settled. Nice grouper. Who oh, I have? Oh, red grouper. Nice. 
Ne? İyi mi? Oh yeah. Oh. Hell, a lot bigger than I thought he was. Or a lot smaller than I thought he was. RG3. Nice hand bone. Cool. Alrighty, so it's about noon. I just got to lay down for like 30 minutes because we just went on a run. We had a nice little streak there. We didn't catch anything, but it's kind of how it goes with these big gigantic high spots that we f you fish out here. Um, fish a little deeper. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Knowing me, I'm probably gonna try to catch a grouper. Doing well so far. Two muttons. Had through three fish get eaten. Then I caught two red grouper and I think two uh, ham bones, black bones. So. Good start. I think I got more tags off my ring than anybody else right now, so. Yeehaw. Well, see what we have in store. I guess we're gonna find out here shortly. What's we got? Oh, we got a shark. Oh, God, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Big tiger. Tiger? Yeah, I think so. Whatever it is, it's big. Thing about twins it's really hard to tell them apart get it girl come on now hold on keep our tips together keep our tips together try to you got the corner if you want it Everybody's way here. Squatting on it? A big dumb pudding head? What you got, girl? Something big. Big saltwater fish? Those are my favorite. It took like three different runs. Big Jackson? No. I don't say that. Well, the runs weren't that big. Great say it's great to content, girl. Come on. A little bit of everything here on the Yankee Cap. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll fall in. <laughs> okay, am I taking any guesses? No. No, no way, right? I guess. Jackson. Jackson. Oh, but I missed it. I missed it. That was definitely a group bite. <laughs> back to back. I have to triple up, boys. That's where I'm at. Oh, they just got bit. Oh, we got props. There it is, a quad. There he is. Oh, come here, quad. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, son. Oh, we're a little bit food bar right now. What you got? Oh, oh I thought that was a double. Black fin. Quad. Quad. What's we got? Oh, we got a shark. Oh, God, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Big tiger. Tiger? Yeah, I think so. Whatever it is, it's big. Ammo. Little guy. Better crank fast. I know. <laughs> Him's here. Him's here now. Thank you, sir. We'll get you tagged. Buddha bite for the quad, finish it off. Let's go. Bro, quad blackfin. Oh, we got the two conks boys on the double. You can do it. This one's gonna get all the way to the boat. Let's go. Oh. Big oh. vermage. Oh. Yeah, high five. Oh. First fish of the trip. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. No, I lost the yellow eye. I hooked tuna. Let's go. Belly hook tuna. Is that a yellow fin? I saw. I knew that. Bro, ain't no way. 
That thing fought like that. Are you a side hook? That thing fought like that. Yeah, it literally is straight down. Foul hook. What a warrior. That's a breeder right there. We need to throw that one back. <laughs> no way, Jose. <laughs> Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Oh god. I got a giant yellow eye on. World record. Oh, something about to get eat my shark. Oh god. Oh never mind. I always get freaked out. Let's go! <laughs> Monster. Thanks, homie. Appreciate the work, cuz. Oh shit. Wow. Oh no, it's baby. Let's go! On the floor. Are you shitting me? Hell yeah. Yeah. Come on, Yeah. Wow. Beauty. On the floor, oh yeah? Are you kidding me? That's right. Look at that. A little chafe and all, baby. There you go. That a girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's freaking awesome. That is really cool. Good for her. That's a big old Ono. Holy shit. Holy shit's right. It's a big giant Wahoo. Oh. I got a fish. What him got? What him got? All right. Let's go! Oh, boy. Oh, Marco. There you go. Let me show it to the camera. GoPro. I did it. <laughs> Alrighty, fat boy's had enough. I've done my hand cranking today. Hand crank tile fish. Hand cranked. Snowy. All other kinds of deep stuff. Time to put this POS into a little bit of work. Hopefully it doesn't break like the last Bandix I had that I fished with on Pulley Ridge. Such well-made reels, my favorites. <laughs> Put it on an eight foot rod, not a bent butt this time. That's not what these guys do on this boat. Um, it's, you don't really, and you hold these the whole time too, uh, as well. So no fishing out of rod holders. But um, unlike a lot of people, I like to actually hold my rod for, uh, for bites on deep drop which is, I mean, you know, the more I watch YouTube, that's just how I learned it, and that's how I feel bites better. That's actually, I found, I found out it's pretty atypical. But I like holding my rod, I just feel bites better. I'm gonna feel bites hopefully pretty good with my grouper rod, but I guess we'll see. Good old electric grill. It's electric. Woogie, woogie, woogie. And all you guys can go ahead and sound off in the comments about how this isn't real fishing and how that's not fun. This is my kind of fun. This is what I like to do, this is what I do a lot. And uh, I like fishing with electric reels. I like asking to get fish too. It's really easy to do with this big reel when it works. It's a good reel when it works. I'll give, I'll give Bannix that. But they're customer support and uh, longevity. And it's funny, talking to these deckhands about Bannix, guess who the number one breakdown reel is for company? Like, by far, like three, four times over. Bannix, imagine that. Man has in the water. I just the way it sounded like. Should have bought a seaboard. This is the first time I've done this with a long rod. It's actually kind of nice, or a bent butt, or a straight butt for that matter. You feel the bites pretty well. It's uh. I guess pretty much the same thing. It's actually easier. But it doesn't apply because obviously you can't use rod holders in this boat. And all the other boats I've fished with this thing you can. Unless I'm gonna spend like six hundred dollars one of those like bendable ones. Probably not my future, but this is pretty nice. Kinda like it. Let's go, bro. 
All right, boys. Day's wrapping up. Uh, I didn't, <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't uh, film on that last one, but uh, the boat caught one queen. I caught a small scamp, a uh, small snowy, and a couple more yellow eyes. But I'm about to get into the last drift of the day. I will put that in the next one. So you're going to wait for the next evening and probably the next day or the last half of the day. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. There's going to be another video. That's all you got to know. All right, boys. Oh, it's super dark. Can you see me now? Kind of. All right, beginning of day two. Uh, nothing really happened last night. I walked out. I woke up at five. Well, I woke up when we first stopped last night. We made about a two hour run after dinner. Fished for about 30 minutes. It was pretty cool, like squid and uh, flyers amassed around us in a quantity I haven't seen before out here and like immediately. And, uh, but we didn't catch anything. I think they caught like three, four muttons, three, four tuna all night. Crushed the barracudas. So uh, I slept, which is not a bad thing. That was a fall. But, uh, yeah, I'm starting new new day with a new rig, new leader, and uh, get to it. Giddy Mitchell. That's cool as That's way cool. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Look at that thing. It's never seen. It's beautiful. Yeah, he's really cool looking. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Very cool. It's like a bug. Is that actually a Caribbean snapper? It has to be. His, his eyes aren't yellow enough. That's cool. But yeah, those eyes don't look freaking neon yellow to me. That's really cool. It's the first time I've ever actually seen one. What you got? Scamp? Oh, look at that. A blue line. Damn, I'm getting the double rig. Let's go. E old Taffy. Look at all the yellow on his face. Oh no, that's a, uh, that's not a blue line. That's a, uh, what's it called? I got a cool black pen. That's not a, what are they called? A great tile fish, I guess. First time I've ever seen one of those too. I got. I got a whole bunch of people's lines, I think, and a fish. Another hand bone. Hand bone guy right now. Yeah, no staples and put staples. Nice yellow eye. Oh, it's a hand bone. It's a whack fin snapper. Throated it. Scamp! Scamp! Scamp! Monster! Fish and rock. Look at that stupid thing. <laughs> it's a big grunt, dude. <laughs> Monster ground. Oh, <laughs> Action Jackson. Jackson DeVille in the cut. Sushi for everyone. Let's go on. 45 or so. Oh, never mind. He shrunk. <laughs> 25. Super cool. That looks super fun. I want to get one of those in 500 foot. You guys, ever seen a Kitty Mitchell on top water? Come on, son. You got him. That's him. That's him. Don't pop his air. Don't pop his stomach. <laughs> That's it. Let's go. Got him on. <laughs> oh, God. 
That's a stud, dude. Right in the corner of the mouth, just what the circle hooks are for. <laughs> nice work, Bubba. Stud kit Mitchell. That's way cool. That's what Jake. It's a lot to get a picture of this one, and then. Scamp! What is it? Oh no, it's a ham bone. It's a really big one though. No, I'm just kidding. That's a decent one. It's probably the biggest one I caught. Thank you, sir. Uh, I take that back. Oh, I forgot I'm not working on the boat. You can take them off. <laughs> I'm so used to doing that. <laughs> That's funny. That's just freaking just second nature. Just give me the fish. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. So he's just calling it. Cam's got the last fish of the trip. Yeah, big Amaco. Finish her off. Oh. Live bait. <laughs> Playing with a shark. That's a stud. Can put him on a wall. <laughs> Someone told me that. Get on There you go. Pull up on There you go. Well, fun trip, really slow second day, but lots of fish. Cool experience. Whopper. Okay, we're back. Oh, it's about 6 15 ish video turned into a one part series <laughs> very quickly yesterday but uh still a fun trip met a bunch of cool people and still caught some fish some fish i've never ever get to catch so there's that look at this dog big going up i can get up the air <laughs> uh oh yeah and shout out to these girls for putting on a pretty good trip. Yeah. Thanks. Good old charter masters there. Yeah. Got some cool stuff. Big old Kitty Mitchell. Hey, I don't know. Some fun Alamacos and Bob and Flit. Stuff I don't get to catch all that often, or ever, for that matter. I don't know. It's cool seeing that stuff. I love it. If you know me, I love exotics. And this is that kind of trip, so pretty fun. Wait for him to pull them out and. Sort them. <laughs> Another one of the really cool exotics we caught. I've never seen one of these before. I don't know what's called a yellow tilefish or a gray tilefish. Definitely never seen one before. Super cool fish. All right. It's kind of unique to me. Pass some fish out. We're all just standing in a circle with a bunch of coolers and we're yelling at each other. 35. Here, 35. Here. Definitely not what I'm used to. Different. Oh, big oh no. 27. So she caught that on a. You didn't really get any detail. Showed it like on the deck, but she was really in her uh, mutton rig, and I think she had a bee liner or a small yellow eye or uh, black fin on it, black fin snapper, and she caught it on mono. 23. That's me. 26. So that's the pool winner. I don't know people get all fired up about winning the pool, but this is a cool fish. Caribbean red snapper. This one right here? It's a Caribbean red snapper. It looks like a red snapper, but with not a red snapper eye. Or a yellow eye without a yellow eye. Pretty cool. Let's see, I think that's the only one we caught. 23. I guess it's like a hand bone, but. No black man. Not a hand bone. Oh, that's a yellow eye, yellow eye. There's that. Pretty cool. I love exotic stuff. Bro, what the hell is even that? That is some ultra Key West stuff if I've ever seen it. What the hell? 
like a witch doctor. All right, pulling out with a couple coolers of fish. Not the two coolers I wish I filled up, but nonetheless, caught some cool fish. It was a nice change of pace, just doing something different, fishing deep water. I never get to fish for those yellow eyes and hand bones or blackfin snapper. Like that, if we ever get them, it's super rare bycatch. If you've seen the channel before, you would clearly know that. Um, it's cool to see the Caribbean snapper, one cool deep water gag. Do I turn right? I think I turn right. Uh, we didn't really deep drop. I was like, wait, where the f did my snowy go? I caught a snowy. Where did my snowy go? I didn't get my snowy. I think Marco was holding it. He accidentally gave it to somebody else. That sucks. Oh, well. Good thing it wasn't a big snowy. <laughs> it was a one pound snowy. Whatever. But, uh, then last cool trip. Fun trip. I'm not gonna do one again unless it's deep dropping though, that's for sure. I was supposed to turn there, wasn't I? I have a good feeling I was supposed to turn there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna focus on driving so I don't get lost in Florida Keys. Hopefully I don't get a ticket on the way home. <laughs> I guess this is just a Keys thing. Why do people feel the need to make their cars weird? Why is this a thing? Explain to me, Keys people, explain to me. Why you gotta make your cars all weird? It doesn't even have like a business name. It's just a weird car. Oh, it's a gel coat repair. Okay, that makes sense. Still, that's pretty ridiculous. I guess that's one way to get attention. I just got back in Mayport and uh, once again getting just awesome audio quality thanks to our uh, county bird, the Black Hawk, or the Seahawk helicopter. But uh, here's the damage. They're pretty good, you know. It was a slow trip by the Yankee cap standards. Like it was a very slow trip, but uh, it's never as bad as it seems. It's never as good as it seems. That's always the motto. That was the motto when we were watching film after games when I was coaching. And it's usually the same motto with fishing trips. So, I mean, once you lay it all out, it looks a lot better, but. I got a, uh, I got a third red grouper because I traded one of the people, uh, two ham bones for one red grouper. Um, and I actually caught two more scamps, but, and another yellow eye, but um, the one of the mates filleted it for dinner without my permission, so thanks for that, DJ. Do I really care? No, I don't. I could care less. I'm glad that we all enjoyed it last night. The chef uh, made a really good dinner. Chef made good meals the whole trip. You know, it wasn't super fancy, but it was, uh, it was, it was good fresh fish, and you can't really beat that. So there you go. What did I end up with? Uh, I ended up with five scamps, two red grouper, a tile fish. Uh, I'm just going to count the hand bones and the yellow eyes together. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Th uh, so 13 of those and three muttons. I traded a mutton too. I just gave it away actually. That's one thing. I actually gave a mutton uh, to one of the people that didn't catch one. They really wanted to eat one. I was like, whatever, I don't care. That's one of the fish I actually get to eat a lot. All the other stuff I don't get to eat a lot of. So, um, first I want to thank the Gale Force Twins for putting on a good trip. Uh, they put a really good group of people together. Uh, no creepy people. Yeah, thank you to Amanda and Emily for putting in the work and getting it together. They're great charter masters. Put it on a good trip. Uh, they gave us a really cool goodie bag with a bunch of their, one of their sponsors, Rain Shadow, hooked us up with some really nice uh, cutters, ring splitters, uh, scissors. They, had, they gave us some, uh, like, have you ever seen the, the foam grip things that I use on my rods? They made a new product where they wraps leaders on the rod or whatever. Um, shirts, whatever, hats, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the gators or whatever. Um, but, so thank you to the Gale Force Twins. Uh, my, still my favorite YouTubers ever. Uh, and they might come do content with me. Probably not. We just live in, they might do content with me. You never know. But uh, we live in two totally different universes in terms of what we do for content and just what kind of people we are really. Uh, I would love to have, I really would. But um, it was a fun trip. I'm really glad that I was able to bounce in this literally last minute. So uh, thanks for watching guys. I love you guys, see y'all soon.